Hello everybody and welcome to part 9 of Spiral Enter the Dragonfly and in the last part we did a ton of drumming and got the final remaining dragonflies in Luau Island. This video is also brought to you by MuchGames.ca and Machinima. So like I said we will be going to Cloud 9 which happens to be right here. And ninth episode Cloud 9 that is just too good. So let's talk to the sleepy little bear. Hooray! You did it! The swirly thingy is working! Step right in, and it will take you up, up to the clouds. Try not to get dizzy. I did and almost lost my ham and sheep sandwich. Ha! Sheep? Did I say that? Heh, <laughs> really? That is just too funny. Anyways, let's go up. That's kind of glitchy. But whatever, you know. Coolio. No treasure found, we're at 2949 still, because we haven't been able to complete the whole world yet. Uh, either the, uh, hopefully next part, we'll be done this world, and then I can actually, um, move on. Like, and actually, com hopefully complete the whole world. I've been really looking forward to, you know, having an even gem total again. I hate games where your collectibles are out of bounds, and wow! Really, we start off with our gems right at the beginning. Now, yes, if you press B in the atlas on a level, you do warp. So, remember that. And if I remember correctly, this level is actually pretty difficult. And I'm really hoping it, uh, you know, goes pretty smoothly. Are you pudgy? Hey. Oh, it's powder. Uh, you electric breath. Oh, of course. And oh, what the frig is that thing? It's a uh, Rhinoc. I mean, Riptoc with angel wings and a pillow and everything. Oh yeah, I killed stars for my fodder. That's just not nice. Oh great, they laugh freaky. <laughs> hey! Ha! The ice rune. Nice. So we can move on after we beat this world. Well, we can move on right now if we really want to. We could just leave the level. But, why would I do that? And, ooh, I don't know if I can make it over there. Uh, I should risk it, but at the same time, I shouldn't. I have plenty of lives, because, you know, Spire games are never big on lives. Like, you're not easily going to get to 99 lives unless you sit and keep killing sheep or stars, in this case, all day. So, and, oh, look, little Cupid Riptock. And, wow, the enemies here are a lot slower and a lot more stupid than they were in the last couple of levels. Well, you guys actually hunt me down, which is, you know... A little more dangerous, I guess. Still, you guys are pretty easy to defeat. No issues whatsoever. Ow. There's actually a lot of gems just in the middle of the area here just to collect. Okay, let's go back here and collect all my missing gems that I didn't pick up. Because I was too busy focusing on the enemies and not the gems. But yeah, this is, you know, this game's actually going by pretty smoothly, other than, you know, a few challenges that I had a few issues with and finding some gems. I don't remember, though, if it was the challenges here that were hard or finding the gems. I really hope it's not finding the gems, because as you guys can tell, I missed weird ones in the last part. Because sometimes the gems actually glitch outside the level and then you can't get them. I forget what part it was. It was, I think, in the first world, or I guess first level that it did that to me and I hope you guys actually notice that to see what I'm talking about wait a minute I thought I saw like a mini game oh yeah no it's just you over here and yeah you guys really shoot slowly like I mean extremely slowly and is that water down there I didn't even check if that was water come on camera okay it is let's uh, collect those gems that we don't want to miss because gems underwater are the easiest ones to miss. Now, I'm still trying to think if I could have went back and went up that whirlwind thingy, because you know that their dialogue is so detailed in this game that they call it a thingy. They, they don't even know what it's called. It's clearly just a whirlwind. That's what we've called it in all Spiral games. I don't know why he says, like, whirlwind thingy. It's like, you couldn't get that, buddy. You really couldn't think of that. Wow, the water actually ripples from underneath. I guess it bubbles in from over there. That is pretty cool. I have to say, this level is designed fairly nicely, and I don't think there's a lot of glitches here. As you can tell, the game does run a lot smoother here. There's really not much for music. 
it's kind of a remake of the, some of the four, uh, swamp area, like, you know, Beastmaker's World and Spiral 1. And a little bit of a combination from Spyro 2 levels. Because Spyro 2 didn't have the best soundtrack out of the Spyro games, but, you know, I can still recognize most of the levels. Oh, I see what they mean by electric breath. We got more cannons. Or I guess, you know, power... Ooh, Rainbow Road. It's the Spyro version of Rainbow Road. I'm already liking this level. What the frig is that thing? A thief with a magic wand. Huh, wonder what that item is for. We'll probably use it for this level, I'm assuming. It's probably for a firefly or something like that. It just seems like it would be. Okay, I want these gems. I just hope all the recordings for this game go well, because I don't want to have to go back and do stuff. Yay, big rip talks that I have no clue what they actually do to you. If they just smack you or what. But I never get a chance to. I think I've only been hit by an enemy once. You okay, know, I think twice. Underwater enemies. But I think I was only hit by a land enemy uh, once. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There's a couple times in um, Crop Circle Country. But I mean, like, an enemy that actually physically hits you, not shoots you. Like, there's very few of them actually in this game, and I'm surprised the level after... Actually, the two levels after are a lot easier than the first level when it comes to enemies. I mean, first level, I mean the first, you know, actual place you can go to. That isn't the home world. Oh, I hear lightning. Nice. I love lightning. Thunder and lightning are two of my favorite things. That's why electric Pokemon are some of my favorite types in Pokemon. And not to mention that they're generally fast and can really annoy your opponents. There's a lot of gems just hovering around here. I never did check the gem total though, there's gotta be close to- there's at least gotta be 900. Let's so actually check that. So let's go to the atlas, um... Go to- oh, only 800. Wow, the two later levels are actually really short. And we've got zero dragonflies. Oh, press B button to warp to level! I did not see that up there, I wish I would've known that before I pressed the B button all those times. I kept wondering what was wrong, and no one actually said in the comments what I was doing before I actually corrected myself. So thank you guys for not being jerks on that, but at the same time, it's like, guys, come on. Wait a minute, was that a dragonfly? Ah, oh, it is, too. But what's this bear got to say? Oh, you're the magic wand bear. What's your name? Thimble, thanks, Spyro. Now I can power up the swirly. The swirly. You, you do know that it's called a whirlwind, right? Yeah, can't expect much from a stupid sleepy bear. These guys are nimrods here. Still, they level- this is actually a lot like, um, Cloud Spires in Spyro 3. Uh, it kinda has the coloring of Colossus from Spyro 2, but I think it relates more to, um, Cloud Spires, which is a pretty cool level. It's the second level in that game. Uh, I don't count home worlds as levels because generally home worlds don't have enemies. Only Spiral 1 did they actually have enemies that could physically hurt you. And hey, life! He's gonna hit me. I guess he didn't. Where's that lightning sound coming from? Because I don't see lightning yet. Wait a second, what the heck was that over there? Oh, just another one of you. Boo, that's... This is dangerous here, man. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to switch my breath here. I almost forgot what button it was. Really? You're gonna go on to the rainbow? Well, I'm glad the rainbow isn't glitchy. I was expecting it to be. Okay, we got Savino. Hey, it's Savino. Yay for Savino. Now let's gather up all these gems here, and now we gotta switch into electric breath again. I can't wait to get ice breath. It's not the most useful breath. It's so sweet though. And, aw, I know in other games electric breath is actually able to break open metal objects and glass objects. Actually, other than the Game Boy games, I think this is the last game that has vases in it. Vases, vases, however you guys want to pronounce it. So I think we have to zap each one. I think. Okay, yeah, we do. And what does this do exactly? Oh, there's three left. There's actually quite a few. 
Oh, they shoot lasers at an hourglass. Interesting, but uh, at the same time, kind of like, what? But we get to move on, which is kind of cool. We get to loot this little area. Oh. They're rain cloud enemies. I get it. I didn't see you there. Like, you didn't hurt me or anything. These enemies here are actually being really nice. I haven't gotten hurt once. But, you know, this isn't that difficult. The only thing that really gets annoying are underwater enemies, because, you know, they have a weird fire time. And the glitches. Other than that, the game is actually a very beautiful, well working game. A little short, though, for a spiral game, but the levels are pretty long. Longer than most spiral game levels. Wow, this is just like a uh, backwards route that we just went. It's like we're going in reverse of how it started. Uh, nice. Lots of gems around here. There's a cloud enemy over that away. Okay, did I miss anything back here? You never know. The gems are usually well hidden here. And you don't want to miss anything. Ooh. Whoa, that's a little bit wobbly. What the heck was that? Instead of hovering, he decided to head bash. I forgot that if you jump and press the hover button, you actually fall and die. Okay, enemies don't come back if you die. Enemies only come back if you go to one of the challenges. We only got one dragonfly though, and we've already been behind this level for a good chunk of it. Because there's not as many gems as the last level, so I'm assuming the level must be shorter. In all honesty, it's got to be a shorter level if there's, you know, less of everything. So, okay. There we go. Okay, Cupid and your cloud buddy there. You guys gotta die. Oh, I think I see another cloud guy on the other side. In-game walls that are extremely misplaced and woo. Do these guys have faces? It's just a cloud that can be destroyed with electricity. Because, you know, electricity defeats electricity. It clearly told you that in Pokemon. <laughs> Not really. Usually electricity would have no effect on electricity. Because of the same element, but... Oh, I thought that was a gold gem that fell. Don't trick me like that, Starfy. It's the legendary Starfy. Why do I need that? I can literally do it like this. I sometimes don't get the uh, placement of objects. I guess it's if I want to go back up, but I don't think I miss anything. And I think this is a level that's hard to find all the gems. Which I'm not looking forward to that. Come on, pick up that gem, Sparks. You can't be that useless. It's not like it was really out of your reach. It just fell down from the sky. Okay, make sure I grab everything before I go up this whirlwind. Now, where does this actually take me? Is that a pirate ship up there? I really hope that's not a pirate ship. Oh, hey, uh, Rhino. Hey, hey, hey. No. Jam. Why did you have to fall down there? Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. I mean, there's like a dragonfly up here. And there's some other stuff up here. So. Where'd that green gem go? Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I hope it didn't, uh... Did it seriously fall off the ledge? Oh my god, game. Why do you have to be so mean? So I know there's a missing green gem now. Because it clearly fell off the edge after I killed an enemy. Yep, it did, it did, it definitely did. Okay, you know what? Missing one gem, I guess, isn't the end of the world could be for getting 100%, but I'll just have to get it when I, uh, you know, have to come back, because I'm not going to complete this level in one video. It's kind of obvious, it's too long of a level to complete. There, at least the second one of these is activated, which leaves two more to go. Let's see where this beam goes. I really think that looks stupid, but that's just me. And, oh, dragonfly on these things. Yay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so far so smooth. Awesome, we have gotten Sylvia. Hey, it's Sylvia. 
Sparse, what are you doing? Just looking at me like that, like, yo, what's up? Okay, I don't think there's anything else over here. Except now we get to go on that platform which oh goes up. Okay. I think I'll do just that, sir. Um, why did you turn me this way? Is it like completely randomized where it goes? Oh. I guess I could have, you know, um, just glided down here. But that's not me. I like to play it safe. Whoa. Hey, you ain't going anywhere, buddy. Okay, now where does this lead exactly? There's a few gems here, just chillax. And so, if I make it to the end of... Oh, the hallway dragonfly. I remember you. This is one of you every couple of levels, I swear. I'm not gonna... No. Oh, I was still on bubble breath. Good thing I, uh, checked before I tried killing an enemy. Easy, Ice Boy. Hey, it's Ice Boy. Who names a red dragonfly ice boy? Doesn't that just seem like it's, um, like, ironic, like it's hypocrite, it's like very, being very hypocritical, naming a, uh, fire type, firefly dragonfly dude after ice? Okay. I think this is actually a pretty darn good place to end the video off. And in the next part, we will climb the spiraling staircase. And I'll go back and check to see if I got that gem. So anyways, see you guys next time for more Spyro and to the Dragonfly.